We out here, man. Got J100. First time on the channel. Yes, I've been tuned in, bro. You know what I'm saying? First time on Spray Spring. I was supposed to, to, been, to been activated with my nigga, but you know, we finally done brush shoulders and got it in, man. It's that time. Man. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll take uh, accountability. So, like, when we were supposed to do one one time, at the time, I'll keep it real. I didn't have my whip at the time, so I. I Nah, oh, shit, be mad. Yeah. Shit, I was probably doing some other shit too. So. Yeah. And it, one thing I know is shit, shit happened for a reason, and time and be like, but the essence, you feel me? This shit be worldly shit. You feel me? So. Nah, for real. It's the right time for everything, bro. Man, bro, you're right on the time and shit because it's like you was one of those people that, bro. I was like always watching and tuned in. I think a lot of people around here, and it was like, yo, that nigga got it or that nigga's on some shit, and then it looked like out of nowhere. Hip Hop Lab, Detroit, and them niggas came, swooped you up, and then it's now niggas, everybody's realizing what it that is. It was a really long term ass grind, man, where niggas, whether niggas know it or not, like, it might have seemed like it was quick, but like you say, you you had been tapped in, so you know I was really, I was really going at it for a minute. Yeah, you was working, bro. You really did the groundwork out here, bro. And so, like, for someone like you, you know, originally, Ar like, Arkansas, right? Arkansas, but then you kind of get on your grind out here in Dallas. And then obviously niggas in Detroit come and really tap in with you. Being in these different markets, like, is it the same shit everywhere? Or is it a little different type of grind everywhere? No, it's a different grind everywhere because, you know, certain cities understand how to network and be in the mix together better. Yeah. You know, kind of in Texas, we ain't really got that down pat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got a couple, but. We call gatekeepers. I ain't never heard no other state say Use that no word. Shit oh like my God. That. You get what I'm saying? But in Texas, we feel like we got these people that can, you know, which is true, but it ain't really that. That's what's missing. What's missing is just us artists having to come together and really push the sound and push the narrative. So, yeah. I really just got out of my high horse and start tapping in, bro. But when people say tap in, they take that term derogatory. Like, it's not that. It's really just. Going to fuck with who you fuck with. Yeah, you know rub elbows. Saying? Get in like, where you fit in. Ain't nothing wrong with fucking with some shit you like and inspired and motivated by. You see a nigga grinding, you want to tap in, let him do that. But, you know, a lot of niggas take this dick riding shit. It be some ego shit. Another, yeah, the ego and the pride, man. You put your pride to the side, invest, and stay out the way. That shit'll take you a long way. Bro. Nah, for real. So you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you think it was like? That really, you know, obviously you got the bars and you got your own, you know, distinct flow. But shit, just from, you know, the people that you, uh, you know, you're doing business with now, what was it that, you know, appealed to them? Or what do you think it was about you? Uh, man, I'm a workforce, the work ethic. I'm always, I'm always trying to do something, you feel me? Yeah. I'll invest in myself. I believe in myself enough to, to pay for what I got to pay for, do what I got to do. I'm really not going to wait on nobody to do this shit. No you know shit. What I'm saying? So that's what it is. And then, like you say, just the, the lyrics, the talent, you feel me? But yeah. I really think it's just an energy thing, man. I think we all mesh together real well. And when we did that, man, it's just going to take it to the next level. Modern classic out now, right? Yeah, all right, man. So just before I I'll let you get out of here, man, I got to hit you with the Spare Spare Special. Obviously, we're going to have to get up and really do the full blown exclusive one day. But, man, I got to hit you with it, man. If there's any song you could be on the original version of this song featuring J100, what song would it have been? Original song. You would have been on that hook. It will probably be... Boosie, Touchdown. Yeah? That nigga was just that nigga was like a big part of my company. Right yeah. Like I came up on Bruce and shit. So I'm really proud of me some shit like that. Nah, I respect it, man. Nah, it's love, bro. I appreciate you. Man, before I get you out of here, man, anyway, I guess y'all Sperry Spring one time for the culture. Hey, man, tap in my guy Sperry Springer, man. You know, be in a great state of Texas, man. This the guy you gotta come rub shoulders with, man, if you really claim you're doing something, man. So tap in, man, you know what it is, J1. Modern classic, man.